Dr. Wood, author of the book, Miracles and Minutes. And today's advice for you is stop being a doormat. <laughs> so uh, we all heard the, uh, you know, this is for good people out there. You know, you were raised to do unto others as they do unto you and love people and care about them. And that's great. It really is. But there's also a biblical verse that says, be shrewd as a snake and innocent as a dove. What's going on here? It's just like, well, be a good person. Be of good character. <laughs> but you got to know there's a lot of snakes out there. Like there's people, when you do good unto them, um, their archetype of personality is not to do good to you. So being naive is foolishness. So I'd recommend this book right here, The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. As you start to read, you go like, wow. The review for it was, it was the chicken's soup for the soulless but it basically is trying to tell you like look um you know you're taught to be your best rise and shine come up to the occasion and you do that in the workplace and you outshine your boss you're gonna get fired because you're making them feel insecure so you have to learn how to you know be shrewd as a snake and innocent as a dove i'm not saying don't do your best but also you need to be cognizant and aware of the social dynamics of life. You know, you can't keep coming back and go, you know, I treat them so good and why this happened to me, da 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 like you don't you didn't recognize the person you're dealing with. The people who don't want you to know this are the ones who want to do you wrong because you're still the sucker. One of my favorite quotes is Ty Lopez said, if you don't know who the sucker in the room is, you're the sucker. So don't be a sucker. Don't kid you know, I'm I'm doing some of these videos so you can do well in life you can win you can be victorious but if you don't recognize the battle you're about to approach or who the person is you're getting ready to deal with you're going to walk away from the encounter scratching your head maybe a little torn up emotionally break your heart or financially or you just don't understand what happened to you you're not learning from life and you're just doomed to repeat the same lesson so the book 48 laws of power kind of gets into that a lot so this is in relationships and everything else. I mean, I'm not saying judge people. I'm saying know them by their actions. Know who you're dealing with. And that is who they are. That's their character. Listen how they talk. Listen. You have to develop your skill of listening and develop your skill of seeing and your own awareness of yourself first. Like, do you know yourself? You know, Do you know your behaviors? You start to understand your own motivators. You can start to see other people's human motivators and their motivation for interacting with you may not be has come with good intentions. It comes from a place of uh, insecurity, scarcity, and when people are um, in a survival mode, fight or flight, they're coming to get something. They're needy. Okay, so when the people are surviving, they need stuff, and they're going to need something from you. And then they'll use very childish behaviors to get their needs met. Um, and we all have needs. Um, but most people never develop a mature adult way of getting needs met and still use childish methods. You know, throw a tantrum um, or play aloof, you know, like the silent treatment or be avoidant or they'll uh, do it or else. It's a demand. They don't know how to make a request to get a need met. Instead, they'll use guilting. They'll shame you. They'll use different name calling. They're trying to box you in, make you feel bad that you don't give away your life. Now, who's being disingenuous in this conversation? The other party is. So don't let false guilt and crap take you down. I mean, you don't have to surrender your goods and life to someone else because they're making you feel guilty. Start recognizing this bullshit. So the 48 Laws of Power can do that. Dr. Wood, helping you win in life. Have a great day.